in the 19 years that I have been trading full time, uh, A, it takes a lot of work. I think nobody should arrive here thinking trading is like this pastime you will do once in a while. So when we started the business back in 2010, we were trying to build a brokerage firm for very active day traders like us. 1 million to 11 million without adding people in the team. Today, these 11 million customers together hold almost 2 lakh crores plus securities with us. I don't think there's any platform in this country who's been able to build trust in such quick time. Did you know that the total number of registered investors in India stood at about 16 crores as of Feb 2024 and 12 crores of those were registered between 2019 and 2023 itself. Till a few years ago, stock market investments in India were in the hands of institutional investors as the market was perceived to largely be a risky investment that the common man could not bear. However, in recent times, retail investors, people like you and me who invest their own savings directly in the stock market have taken to trading themselves choosing to invest their savings in mutual funds, stocks and bonds. And you know the company most responsible for educating and enabling these retail investors to participate in the trading activity, previously only accessible to institutions, that's Jiroda. Today, we are going to dive into how Jiroda defied the typical startup culture of hype, fast-paced growth and high burn rates to become one of the most successful bootstrapped startups in India. The reason I wanted to talk about Jiroda today is the following. Jiroda hasn't spent a single penny on advertising and has taken no outside investment. It was built by just 30 engineers who scaled the platform to manage millions of trades every day. Impressively, Jiroda can continue its operations for the next 13 years without earning any new revenue. In a startup ecosystem, often celebrating fundraising and aggressive growth of its biggest names, Jiroda stands out as a player focused on long-term growth and generating profits from day one. Before we get into the story of Jiroda, you need to first know the story of the Kamath brothers. Nitin Kamath, the elder brother, began his journey in stock trading at just 17. Initially dabbling in penny stocks, he made significant gains but lost everything in the 2001-2002 market crash. This setback led him to a call center job, which he juggled while trading during the day. His big break came when a foreign HNI individual was impressed by his portfolio and handed him an amount of Rs 25 lakhs to manage, prompting Nitin to leave his call center job and eventually start Jiroda. Nikhil Kamath, following in his brother's footsteps, dropped out of school after the 10th standard to pursue chess but later joined a call center job at 17, working the UK time zone. This schedule allowed him to trade stocks in the morning and afternoon. As Nikhil got more experience in trading, he started managing the assets of his friends and colleagues. Later, he joined way to wealth as a subbroker. As both brothers had worked with many brokerage firms, they recognized the challenges faced by traders. Nitin also figured out why so many young people are not interested in stock trading. The reason was simple, high brokerage charges and complex trading process. The Kamath brothers quit their jobs and kick-started Jiroda operations on the 15th of August 2010 with the goal of breaking all barriers that traders and investors face in India in terms of cost, support and technology. They named the company Jirodha, a combination of Jiro and Brodha, the Sanskrit word for barrier. The financial world at the time was still recovering from the devastating crash of 2007 and 8, making it nearly impossible for Jirodha to find investors for their own growth. So they took the path of bootstrapping their company. Nikhil took charge of the financials, leveraging his decade of trading experience to ensure Jiroda stayed afloat during its critical early years. Meanwhile, Nitin focused on the crucial task of assembling a great team to build their incredible product. Let's rewind to 2010. The internet and smartphones were just starting to gain traction among the Indian population. At this time, the norms in the stock trading industry included exorbitant brokerage fees, complex trading procedures, and a general lack of knowledge. As a result, only a tiny fraction of Indians were active traders. To attract initial traders, Jiroda made a bold move. They slashed their brokerage fees drastically, charging just Rs 20 or 0.03%, whichever is lower, for all intraday trades and made equity and direct mutual fund investments free of cost. This was revolutionary at that time. Surprisingly, still, they managed to onboard only 1,500 users in the first year. In the initial years, many traders hesitated to join Jiroda because in India, a lower price often raises doubts about quality itself. 
This became Jirodha's biggest hurdle. To overcome this, they launched Z Connect in 2012, an initiative to directly engage users and provide them with real-time comprehensive information about trading. Z Connect wasn't just a communication tool. It evolved into an active educational portal that covered a broad spectrum of trading topics, helping to build trust and community among traders. In 2014, Jirodha took another significant step towards engaging with its growing community by launching Trading Q&A. This platform is a community-driven, self-curated Q&A site dedicated to all aspects of trading and the stock market. Essentially, Trading Q&A allows anyone to pose a question and receive direct, concise responses from fellow users. Moreover, Jirodha launched Varsity later in 2014. It was powered by a simple but extremely powerful motto, knowledge like other elements of life should have no ownership. Therefore, high quality education should be made accessible to anyone and everyone without any financial obligations. And to walk the talk, Varsity introduced each and every topic related to markets, explored it in highly structured and detailed fashion and offered it to everyone interested. Varsity is said to be driving a quarter million visits in web traffic every month. 2015 to 2017 marked a pivotal period for Jirodha, during which they launched key products and platforms. Number 1. Launch of Kite September 2015 saw the launch of Kite, Jirodha's flagship trading platform. This was a major leap from their previous reliance on Thomson Writers, distinguished itself by being exceptionally lightweight, consuming just 1 by 175th the bandwidth of traditional trading platforms, making it highly efficient. Today, Kite is instrumental in handling 15-20% to of India's daily trading volumes, showcasing its significant impact on the market. Number 2. Opening up Kite Connect API Despite the advancements with Kite, less than 0.1% of the Indian population was actively involved in the capital markets at the time. Recognizing a gap and an opportunity, in December 2015, Jiroda opened its application programming interface, Kite Connect, to fintech startups. This move allowed startups to focus on creating user-friendly frontends without the hassle of managing back-end execution issues. Companies like Smallcase, Sensible, and Streak leveraged these APIs to build their platforms. Number 3. Launching Coin Coin, launched in 2017, is an intuitive investment platform that enables you to purchase mutual funds online directly from asset management companies without any commission passbacks delivered directly to your DMAT account. Within the first 16 months of launch, over 100,000 clients invested over 2,000 crores in direct mutual funds through COIN. In January of 2019, after almost 8 years of operation, Jirodha took over the throne of the largest brokerage firm in India from ICICI Bank. And then, early next year, COVID happened. People stayed in their homes all day long, having more free time as even wanted to earn some passive income and thus began the rapid rise of stock trading driven mostly by young people joining such platforms. Do you remember the crazy story of GameStop during the pandemic? In early 2021, GameStop experienced a significant price change as a result of a frenzy of trading activity largely driven by retail investors on platforms like Reddit's Wall Street Bets. This was a worldwide phenomenon and contributed significantly to the awareness around retail investing. Back home, this explosion of interest around retail investing didn't go unnoticed. Newer players like Upstocks and Grow, plus with venture capital, entered the market, intensifying the competition. They eliminated onboarding fees, which Jirodha had set at a nominal rupees 200, and matched Jirodha's low brokerage rates. The battle to acquire traders escalated with millions being poured into advertising and influencer marketing. But Jirodha wasn't that worried about the competition. You see, the reason Zerodha never went down the road of expensive customer acquisition using VC capital, paid advertisements, or having more than the needed amount of people in the team was their core philosophy. They believed it doesn't make sense to spend 10,000 rupees on acquiring a customer when you are charging them just rupees 20 per trade. As a matter of fact, Zerodha actually charged 200 rupees as onboarding fee which partly contributed to their revenue. That means they actually make money on customer acquisition while the rest of their competition loses money. Wow! While exploring the landscape of Indian discount brokerages, we cannot overlook Grow. Grow initially targeted a younger demographic, focusing on long-term investment products like mutual funds and systematic investment plans, or what we call SIPs. Later, they expanded to include direct equity investments on their broking platform diversifying their offerings to cater to a broader audience. 
Despite growth surpassing Jirodha in the number of active investors by September 2023, Jirodha continues to lead in terms of revenue and profits. In fact, its revenue is currently five times that of Grow. Grow, which took a VC-backed route, started out with the objective to attract novice traders and successfully managed to achieve this thanks to solid execution by the team and a more modern product, surpassing Jirodha in user count in the process. However, this strategy had its drawbacks. Typically, newbie traders engage in lower volume and value of trades compared to more seasoned traders at Jirodha. This disparity in trading experience between the platforms is also reflected in their revenue figures. Jirodha's substantial lead in revenue can be attributed to the stronghold in the futures and options segment, which has been highly profitable for them and attracts a more experienced trading audience. After knowing all this about Jirodha, you must be wondering about their financials. Well, in June 2020, Jirodha entered the Unicorn Club with a self valuation of $1 billion. This valuation was based on the ESOP buyback exercise that the company undertook by valuing each share at more than four times the book value of 700 rupees per share. Jirodha claims that around 20% of the country's overall trading customers use Jirodha as their primary platform and that it is adding 250k customers every month. Despite slower growth than the past two fiscals, Jirodha saw its net profit surge by 39% in financial year 2023 to 2,900 crores from 2,094 crores in the fiscal year before. Its revenue, on the other hand, grew by 35.5% to 6,874 crores in financial year 2023 from 4,694 crores in the financial year before. The major sources of its revenue are stock brokerages, onboarding fees, commissions from selling mutual funds via Zerodha coin and the sale of APIs. Zerodha's referral and partner program is also working well. It contributes about 10% of the company's new business. Zerodha's partner program, also called the associate program, pays referrers 10% of the brokerage revenue generated by referred clients for as long as those clients have an account with Jirodha. Now let's talk about what's ahead for them. Jirodha Capital, their NBFC business, started its lending operations in 2023 and is currently at a book size of 112 crores with plans to expand the list of securities eligible for pledging to avail of a loan from Jirodha Capital to include 653 securities across stocks and mutual funds. To simplify direct investments in the capital markets, they built Jirodha Fundhouse AMC in October 2023 as a joint venture with small case. As of today, they offer Jirodha Nifty Large Midcap 250 Index Fund and Jirodha ELSS Nifty Large Midcap 250 Index Fund. Within the first two months of launch, these funds were able to reach a combined AUM of 200 crores. Zirudha plans to double down on this venture to further increase the overall participation of masses in the capital markets. With that, we come to the end of this episode of Scale by AirDrive. Before we wrap up, I would love to know whether you trade actively. If you do, which platform are you using? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode and learned something new, why not hit like and share it with someone who would appreciate it? Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the future episodes of Scale by iTribe. Thanks for tuning in. This is Namneet signing off.